Jeddah Tower, once completed, will be the tallest structure in the world, standing at a whopping height of over one kilometer. It is a story of human ingenuity, modern engineering marvel, and a testament to the determination of man to push beyond all the limits. In this video, Global Money Matters presents you the journey of Jeddah Tower, from its history, the cost it took to build it, and many more interesting facts about this megastructure. Jeddah Tower is a skyscraper under construction in Jeddah, Saudi Arabia. It is planned to be the world's tallest building or structure upon completion, standing one kilometer or 3,281 feet tall and surpassing the height of the Burj Khalifa by 180 m or 591 feet. The Jeddah Tower would be a major landmark in Jeddah and its completion would improve the city's skyline. The building would also offer stunning views of Jeddah, the Red Sea, and the surrounding desert. Even though Jeddah Tower is still under construction, it has already broken multiple world records in the construction industry. However, the competition is fierce, with structures such as the proposed Tower Infinity in South Korea, which will be 1,641 feet tall upon completion, joining the race. The new decade is set to see an exciting race between giants. As the push to reach higher continues, the Jeddah Tower was originally named the Kingdom Tower, but the name was changed in 2020. Construction on the building began in 2013, and it was originally scheduled to be completed in 2020. However, the project has been delayed due to financial difficulties and the COVID-19 pandemic. The current completion date is uncertain, but it is not expected to be completed before 2025. The Jeddah Tower is designed by Adrian Smith, plus Gordon Gill Architecture, the same firm that designed the Burj Khalifa. The Jeddah Tower is the first building in the world to be designed with a tripedal shape, which is inspired by the leaves of desert plants. This shape helps to reduce wind loads and improve the stability of the building. The tripedal shape is inspired by the leaves of desert plants, which have evolved to be strong and resilient in windy conditions. The shape of the Jeddah Tower helps to reduce wind loads by breaking up the wind flow and distributing it more evenly across the surface of the building. This helps to reduce the amount of stress on the building's structure and improve its stability. The tripedal shape also helps to create a more dynamic and visually appealing skyline for Jeddah. The three petals of the building are staggered, which creates a sense of movement and rhythm. The shape also creates a more interesting play of light and shadow on the building's surface. The tripedal shape is a significant engineering feat. The building's shape had to be carefully designed to ensure that it was structurally sound and could withstand the strong winds that are common in Jeddah. The shape also had to be aesthetically pleasing and complement the surrounding skyline. The Jeddah Tower will have a number of safety features, including a fire suppression system, a sprinkler system, and a backup generator. The building will also have a number of security features, including a biometric access system and a closed circuit television system. The Jeddah Tower will have a large number of offices, which will be leased to businesses. The Jeddah Tower will also have a number of hotels, which will provide accommodation for tourists and business travelers. The hotels are expected to be a popular destination for visitors to Jeddah. The Jeddah Tower will also have a number of apartments, which will be sold to individuals or families. The apartments are expected to be a popular option for people who want to live in a luxurious and central location. The Jeddah Tower will also have a number of retail stores, which will sell a variety of goods and services. The retail stores are expected to be a popular destination for shoppers. The Jeddah Tower will also have a number of entertainment venues, such as a cinema, a theater, and a bowling alley. The entertainment venues are expected to be a popular destination for people who want to relax and have fun. The Jeddah Tower will have 167 floors, including 124 hotel rooms, 42 residential floors, and three floors for observation decks. The building will also have a shopping mall, a number of restaurants, and a variety of other amenities. The Jeddah Tower will have the world's highest observation deck, which will be located on the 167th floor and will offer stunning views of Jeddah, the Red Sea, and the surrounding desert. The Jeddah Tower will use a number of innovative technologies to reduce its environmental impact. These include a rainwater harvesting system, a solar panel array, and a green roof. The Jeddah Tower is expected to be one of the most energy-efficient buildings in the world. 
The Jetta Tower will have a rainwater harvesting system that will collect rainwater from the roof and store it in tanks. The water will be used for irrigation, toilet flushing, and other non-potable purposes. This system is expected to save the building millions of gallons of water each year. The Jetta Tower will have a solar panel array that will generate electricity from the sun. The electricity will be used to power the building's lights, elevators, and other systems. This system is expected to save the building millions of dollars in energy costs each year. The Jetta Tower will have a green roof that will help to insulate the building and reduce its energy consumption. The green roof will also help to improve air quality and provide a habitat for birds and other wildlife. In addition to these features, the Jetta Tower will also use a number of other energy-efficient technologies, such as energy-efficient lighting, motion sensors, and smart thermostats. These technologies are expected to help the building reduce its energy consumption by up to 50%. The Jetta Tower will have the world's fastest elevators. The elevators will travel at a speed of 10 meters per second, or 33 feet per second, which is twice as fast as the elevators in the Burj Khalifa. The elevators will be manufactured by ThyssenKrupp, a German elevator company. The elevators will be able to travel from the ground floor to the top floor in just 56 seconds. The elevators will be able to carry up to 50 people each. The elevators will be equipped with a number of safety features, including a fire suppression system and a backup generator. The Jetta Tower's elevators are a significant engineering feat. The elevators had to be carefully designed to ensure that they were safe and could withstand the high speeds. The elevators also had to be designed to fit within the tight space of the Jetta Tower's core. The Jetta Tower's elevators are expected to be a major tourist attraction. Visitors will be able to ride the elevators to the top of the building and enjoy stunning views of Jetta and the surrounding area. The Jetta Tower is a significant example of how innovative technologies can be used to make buildings more energy efficient. The building is expected to set a new standard for energy efficiency in tall buildings, and it could inspire other buildings around the world to adopt similar technologies. In August 2011, the Bin Laden Group was chosen as the main construction contractor for the Jetta Tower. The project was announced to be 1,000 meters or 3,281 feet tall and have a building area of 530,000 square meters or 5,704,873 square feet. Financing for the project was completed in September 2012. In October 2012, Kingdom Holding awarded contracts totaling $98 million for the project. In February 2013, the Jetta Economic Company appointed an E.C. Harris-Mace joint venture team to project manage the Jetta Tower project. In April 2013, the Saudi Water Company signed a 2.2 billion real, $587 million, supply deal with Jetta Economic Company for the Jetta Tower project. The Jetta Tower is a symbol of excess in a country that is still struggling to address its economic and social challenges. The project is likely to benefit the wealthy and powerful, while doing little to help the poor and marginalized. The Jetta Tower is a massive project, and it has required a significant investment. The preliminary construction cost is SR4, 45 billion and 1.23 billion US dollars. However, the project has been delayed due to financial difficulties, and the final cost is likely to be higher. The Jetta Tower is being funded by a number of sources, including the Kingdom Holding Company, the Saudi Bin Laden Group, and the Alinma Investment Company. The Saudi government has also provided some financial support for the project. The Jetta Tower is expected to have a significant economic impact on Saudi Arabia. The project is expected to create thousands of jobs during its construction and operation, and it is also expected to attract billions of dollars in investment. The building is also expected to boost tourism in the region. However, the Jetta Tower has also been the subject of some controversy. Some people have questioned the need for such a tall building, and others have criticized the cost of its construction. However, the building remains a symbol of Saudi Arabia's ambition and its commitment to economic development. The Jetta Tower is scheduled to be completed in 2025. However, the project has been delayed several times due to financial difficulties and the COVID-19 pandemic. The Jetta Tower is a unique and ambitious project. It is the tallest building in the Middle East and North Africa, and it is expected to be one of the most energy-efficient buildings in the world. The building is also expected to have a significant economic impact on Saudi Arabia. 
Only time will tell whether the Jetta Tower will live up to its lofty expectations, but it is certainly a building that is worth keeping an eye on. Thanks for watching this video.